the vessel was um, loaded with, with what the crew believed to have been cannabis uh, resin. They chased it around the southern tip of Gibraltar over to the eastern side and when the, the vessel, the vessels, both vessels, uh, and at that point the RGP vessel was, was closest, was quite close to the suspect vessel, both customs and SVA were somewhere behind. The crew um, believed that they, they heard two shots being fired um, by someone aboard the, the suspect vessel. So the RGP spoke a number of weeks ago about having intelligence suggesting that some smugglers could be carrying guns. Now we know that that is indeed the case. We, as you say, we had uh, worked on this intelligence for, for a few weeks now. We, we had taken some steps, uh, we've mentioned this um, in the last few weeks, we've, we've, we had armed our officers out at sea. So um, in a way it does tend to corroborate that, that intelligence that, um, that, that we had. I mean it is a bit of a step change in, in what we're facing out at sea. It's uh, not common and in fact uh, it's a view shared by Spanish law enforcement as well. This has never happened, uh, at least in recent memory. Um, so you know, we'll have to take a think about why, why exactly the, 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 you know, the pressure is being stepped up, if you like, by the OCGs and what's happening with, with, with the criminal gangs that they see um, that it's worth their while perhaps to try and engage uh, with, with law enforcement in this way. So when shots are fired, what does the RGP do then? You've got armed officers, do you shoot back or do you take an alternate course of action? Well, we're bound by, by quite strict rules of engagement and, and clearly our, our posture at sea will be what it, what it is everywhere else and that is to, to protect life and property. If officers feel that that, that is a threat, then of course they, they'll have to um, consider using lethal force uh, if appropriate. Uh, I mean, I would suggest that uh, it, it's perhaps unlikely that that would come to, to pass at sea. Um, the, you know, it would probably be much safer to take other, other action rather than, than get, um, get to that, that stage. Um, but in terms of the wider question that you ask, I, I think, and I can speak in terms of, of, of the other law enforcement agencies as well, that, that the last thing we're going to do is now walk away or step away from, from our waters. Uh, we would certainly seek to deny our waters to, law, to uh, drug smugglers uh, regardless of um, you know, the, 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 the posture that they adopt. We will certainly have to uh, consider our own tactics, uh, make sure that our officers are, are adequately protected, but we will certainly not back away from enforcing the law in Gibraltar's waters.